Now let me ask you this. Um, who, who said Christ was a uh, white? Which one? Right? All right. So what about everybody else? Do they think Christ is white? So yes, we said Good. What about you? All right. Good. Good. So who taught her that Christ was a white man? That's the question. I don't know. Who taught you that? You know what? I, you know what it is. If you, if you go on Google right now and type in Jesus Christ, well, right there, right, himself, yeah, right. Now go to Re the Re Revelation. Now, the world says that Christ is white, right? But we have the Bible. We have the Bible. So we're going to read out the Bible description of Christ. So nobody can be confused. Either we're lying or they're lying. So we're going to show you. All right, verse one. This is the Book of Revelations, chapter one and verse one. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So this is the revealing of Jesus Christ. All right, verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So it said his head and his hairs. The hairs on his face and on his head were what? Were white like wool. He said white woolly hair. All right? The same hair that y'all have right now. The woolly texture. That's what Christ had. Okay? Right. But look at this sound right here. Check this out. Look at this image. Cause he had white hair like an old man, like an old man. But like a lot of our older men, they have the white, gray white hair. That's what Christ had, and it was of the texture of wool. Now, if you look at this right here, where is it at? You got it? Okay, so yeah, right here. Does that like his white woolly? Does that look like your hair? All right. So the white Jesus doesn't have woolly hair like you. So they're telling you a lot right there. But keep going. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Go ahead. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. So Jesus Christ had feet because he walked the earth, right? So he could, he could actually see what color his feet was according to the Bible. Go ahead. Like unto fine brass. So Jesus Christ's feet were like brass. Go ahead. As if they burned in a furnace. So you take that brass and you burn it. It's going to get real what? Real dark. So Jesus Christ had feet like dark polished brass. If, he has, if his feet are that color, the body of his rest, the rest of the body is that color. Right. So Christ with woolly hair and dark skin looks like y'all right here. All right? That's how we know that Jesus Christ is not a white man according to the Bible. Now, people, people get upset when we bring that out. All the time, people say, oh, we don't. When we bring out, when we bring out that Christ is a, is a black man according to the Bible, people get upset and say, oh, uh, Jesus Christ didn't have a color or a color doesn't matter. But my thing is, why did nobody say that? When the only image that we had was a white Jesus. Nobody fought against the image of white Jesus until we brought another Jesus. So that's hatred. That's, that's called white supremacy. All right? Your slave master, our slave masters, planted that in us. Right? Because my, my last name was Taylor. That's a white man's name. Johnson, Smith, Adams, even another one. Jones. These are not our names. How do we get those names? Give me Deuteronomy. Give me Deuteronomy. We're going to show you. And this is all according to the Bible. Right. We're going to show you your history. Your history according to the Bible. I'm not sure what they teach the young ones in school these days, but as you can see, they're taking down a lot of the statutes around Richmond, like Jeff Davis. Uh, they changed uh, uh, John Tyler Community College to another name because he was a leader of the, well, not leader, but he was a part of the Confederacy, a part of the South. So they're taking out all the so called racist white man statutes and get rid of it. And we think in our heads, oh, yeah, get rid of that racist stuff. But you gotta think about it, they're doing that for a reason. If you take down their history, you know for sure they're not gonna give us our history. So they're gonna hide our history. But read this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it up. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So this is, you ever heard the story of Moses, how he led the children of Israel out of Egypt, and then they drowned the Egyptians and Pharaoh? All right, so this is, talk, Moses talking to the Israelites, on the other side. Read that again. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God okay. to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So we're saying, if they do not listen to the commandments that I give them, all the laws that I give them, what's going to happen? That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. He said we're going to be a cursed people, all right? Remember, uh, uh, go to verse 68 I'm going to show you something because God is not about equality Do you think God loves everybody That we're equal yeah. and Then something get that next I'm going to show you though, I'm going to show your history real quick And we're going to double back Verse 68 And the Lord 
shall bring thee into Egypt again. He said, we're going to go back into Egypt because remember, we had just walked out of Egypt. He said, but if you don't keep the laws again, you're going to go back into Egypt. Right. But this time it's going to be different. Go ahead. With ships. But we're going to show you what Egypt means. All right. We're going to show you the definition of Egypt and prove to you that Egypt means slavery. All right. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. Bring it out. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. He brought us out of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. Out of bondage because remember, we got delivered. Because in Egypt, we, we wasn't evil with them. We was at the bottom of society. We were the ones that built their treasure cities. Because they hated us. Because we're not Egyptians. We're different people. By the way, wherever I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. But once we get off these slave ships, we're not going to see our homeland again. Go ahead. And there ye shall be. And there, wherever we are dropped off at, whatever land we dropped off in Brazil, Colombia, the United States of America, everywhere we dropped off. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. So we're going to be put on auction blocks and sold to our enemy. All right, keep going. For bondmen. For slave men. And bond women. Go ahead. And no man shall buy. So that history only fits our people because you can't find where the so-called Jewish man or the so-called East Indian or, or Persian, they was not put on ships and put all the way across the world in every country did not put it across the world to, to serve slavery. Right. That only happened to our people. All right, you got a flyer? Yeah. We're here to show you that this is your history, sis. Right. And only, only, the, only the Bible has that history for you, okay? We encourage you to call that number for any question because you have young children. These are all your children? Yeah. And you got another one away? Yeah. There you go. They said, know this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6 and verse 7. Bring it up. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. So these laws and statutes that the Lord has given us, we should teach our children. Why? Because if we don't teach them, they're going to break the laws. It's going to keep us in the condition that we're in. Whole violence and drugs, uh, men sleeping around, leaving a woman with a baby, not raising a child. These things are prevalent in our communities. And the Lord is against that. And so are we. That's why we come out here to teach our people whether they don't want to hear it or not. That's not our problem. If you don't want to hear it, kick rock. When we come out here, we take over any place we go. Because right. the Lord said, this is our world. This is our world. Right. All right, keep going. And shall talk of them when thou sittest in thine house. And when you sit in your house, you talk to your children. This is a daily thing. Make sure they understand the laws of God. Right. This is what this is what we was lacking in our community. Because a lot of our people grow up with um, with tablets nowadays You grow up looking at a tablet Not dealing with your child Not going over rules and regulations Or how to maneuver in the world Nation is men leading by example Nation is family Oh, you know